get the job done yet? My name is Eddie. Hold on, hold on. I'm a plumber. Come on, Eddie. You think you have a tough job? Would they shut the water off? Try mine. How can I help you? you? Guys Phone's ringing know? off the hook. Is it an emergency? Plug toilets, nightmare clogs, floods from hell. Eddie, give me a break. And the yelling. This is your job. It doesn't matter. Look at the what? boiler right now. What? What's the thought process? Stop yelling. Stop yelling. I'm going to kill you. Even my wife. All you do is work. It's work, work, work. What can I say? I'm just an American plumber. Just another morning. Me and my helper Johnny are on our way to unplug a toilet. But first, some delicate customer relations. I gotta go, sir. All right? There you go. I'm paying the. F you know, people suck. You know, I've called people up during the week to make appointments. They don't call back. Now they call Friday at 10 o'clock. I'm home now. You can come now. Well, I don't think so. My closet auger Reamer in a second. and my plunger. Notice I'm carrying in tools? Doing a good job. Right? You're the master. Yep. What do I have you for? I found Eddie in the local phone book. Here's Johnny. So after I called a whole bunch of companies, will you get answering service and press one? One guy said, well, $350. I said, hello, $350? Uh -oh. Whoa. Mrs. Gavone had called two or three other times for a plug toilet. Uh, let's see what we got. For toilet pluggers, you never know what you're going to find. We've gotten false teeth. We've got a watch of, I couldn't tell you how many toothbrushes. Uh, I don't know who's brushing their teeth over the toilet, but. Two days ago, I noticed water was low. We find any money, we're keeping it. Then my husband tried to fix it. Big mistake. Made it worse. Then it wouldn't flush. It's un-American not to have your facilities. I don't know how people do it in Iraq. We have a winner. What do you think about my longevity? Well, considering that you've had a problem Two or three times already? Well, no, like, once. No, this in February. Is, yeah, this is the second time. It's costing you $75, $85, $90 a shot. Just get rid of it. It's, bite the bullet and get something that's worth, you know, worth putting in. I want to get the kind you bought. But <laughs> you told me in February you bought a special kind. I bought one, yes, for my back bathroom. They're fantastic. 1.5 gallons. Whoosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can get one for me if I want to do this, Yes, right? absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. 400 installed. Yes. Even with that, she was around saying, well, I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money, whatever else. Well, do what you want. You, you know, it's like that commercial you see on TV. Pay me now or pay me later. Here we go. This isn't for everybody, but you get pretty good at it. And you get a few good flushes and, you know, you're on your way. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, the girl will send you a receipt in the mail. Okay? All right. You're very welcome. Let me know about that toilet. Some people inherit money. I inherited plumbing. My father was a plumber. My uncles were plumbers. My cousins are plumbers. Their sons are plumbers. And now my best friend from grade school is my helper. What could be better than that? I started working with Diddy two years ago. I had recently retired from my uh, lifelong job and said I was available. He works for the phone okay. company, so I tease him all the time about it. You know, look for the union label. Uh, I assume you're, you're working while Did you're I talking. Put that on in the right spot. I'm not Italian at it. So you have to do one other thing at a time? Yeah, one other thing at a time. Three pounds for a bucket. Yeah, I do have a union mentality. I was union all my life. He can say that, but he's an awful workaholic. 
How can I help you? Don't be my plumber. All right. All right. Johnny doesn't get it. I have no choice. I'm just trying to keep the uh, customers happy and get the jobs part. done. Well, I'm gonna run that one. I'm gonna run the Lately, that's getting a lot part. tougher. Hi, come on in. Um, wow, that wire can be redirected. Ed was recommended by a good friend of mine. This is gonna be nothing but problems for you. We are there to tell these people the truth, and it's not always pleasant. This thing's always gonna have water in it. Always. What's always? She wants me to install this sink in her faucet. Because your drain is up higher than the, than the outlet of the disposal. Her problem was is that she picked a deep bowl down. sink. The drain coming out is lower or even with the drain coming through the wall. But what's the problem with that? It's going to rot out in no time, plus it'll plug on you. All right, the reason you we bought the deep sink was because the baby takes her bath, likes to take a bath in the sink. So we got her deeper one because she was getting too big. So she's the culprit. It's your fault, Kate. Yeah. It's your Indeed. fault, yeah. Kate. So you could swim, right? She fell in love with this deep bowl sink to bathe a baby who is not going to be a baby for very long. Johnny, get the water off. Ed, I'm under a counter here. I'm under a closet trying to get my hand in. It's coming. Where the water meter is? I can't hear you. All right. Is that the water off? Yes, it did, and I got a drain down here in a basement sink. Ed. All right, and what are you doing down there? Um, I was dancing. <laughs> Get this off me, please. All right, what do we have for a faucet here? Let me guess, you paid like $400 for this faucet. Um, pretty class. Insane. All right, do you want these, look we'll at these handles. Do you want the handles like that straight, straight out, or do you want them like that cocked at a 45? Don't be difficult. <laughs> I don't, I don't There's care. There's two That's ways. The problem. There's two ways. Um, straight, straight or angle. Straight up, we Give women more than one choice. It's like tough. Okay, straight out. That's straight out. All right. You sure that's set an angle? No, this is straight out. Put it where it's supposed to go. It's where it's time. supposed to go. Third time. Come on, baby. What do you need? Help screwdriver. You want an extension one or Help screwdriver. When you're under there and your head is busy, you have no idea what's going on with the rest of your body. <laughs> if this was a stage, he'd have got a few dollar bills tucked into his underwear. All right, do me a favor. What? Come out of there. Yeah. Please. Put the thing on, will you? Oh, all right, great, thanks. Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, there you go. This is a family show. Your $400 faucet's leaking. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, there's no gasket that's missing. We went according to the instructions. What I'm suggesting is that you call up mm -hmm. and they have to order you another spout or whatever. People pick these things and expect the plumber to be able to, to make it work. Uh, a lot of times, like this, it just doesn't work. Like, always stop by if your husband can't figure it out. Because if he's semi-intelligent. <laughs> well, well, look, he picked you for a wife, so he has to be intelligent. Very nice to meet All right, you. We'll see you later. Thank right. you very much. You're very welcome. So what's the lesson learned? Uh, no, the problem is they never learn. You know, we're going to go on a call tomorrow. It's going to be the exact same thing, different scenario, but the exact same thing. Call a plumber. Hi, Eddie Schrag. I'm starting to worry about Eddie. Hey, did you get that job done yet? He's always had that Italian yeah, hot blood. But lately, he's been getting worse. Right? You're calling me up to bust my chops, and you're telling me that the job's not freaking done. Good morning. Good morning, Eddie. Morning. Before you do anything, this is the what first is order of the day. Oh, nail polish? I can't. Yeah, not for you, for me, but I, I can't open Holy it. Holy man. That's what I mean, see? If you knew him, you'd know. There you go. I know. That's why I see you. See? Thank you. All right, what's the matter? Today, yeah. what, what I would like is to have this thing, if there's any way to put that back and get two shutoffs up high. But, yeah. you know, but Russell's been my customer for only like five years, but we've created a relationship. I've been there for her. I've been over her house on a Saturday morning or Sunday morning. And so, the, you know, it, that, that makes the relationship grow. Ursula, are you a psychiatrist or psychotherapist? I'm a psychotherapist. Psychotherapist. Wasn't it you? When I found out Ursula was a shrink, I figured, why not? That's what they, they like. My customers are always asking me for free advice. So, therefore... Right now, I have uh, two people that have no heat uh, that want me to do boilers. Mm -hmm. uh, I have another person who... Um, 
wants me to put a finish on her and her house. Over the weekend, like, I, I already had, like, five hours sleep both nights. I'm lying in bed, pissed off at somebody or something. This is all coming all at the same time. I can't, I'm only one person. Time out. What? Time out. Take a deep breath. You're going 150 miles an hour. But that's the only way I know. It's just nice if you have a friend who's a plumber. I wish I did. We're about done with the physical part of the job. Right now, it's just the mental agony of it, waiting for him. I'm just tired of it. You feel so dedicated to your uh, clients that you feel you have to do it, yeah. even if you would jeopardize your own health, your family life, your marriage. Yeah. Wow. All the guys who are in my mm -hmm. spot do it. You know, where, where okay. you know, their beepers are going off and their phones going, this right. is sort of And wrong. you know what? Some of them end up having a heart attack. Don't flush. American Plumber will be right back. Eddie, give me a break. Uh, we'll, make a, we'll make a phone call for you. I've been married for 24 years. I met my wife on a job. Back in 1974, he came to my mother's house to look at a bathroom. Came on a Saturday morning with his father. He kept doing this, like looking at me. I thought, well, what's this guy looking at, you know? Dated for six years before we were married. And I thought, when I first met him, well, he has his own business. Then there you are. He'll be able to have a flexible schedule. Right. You, right. you know, he'll be able to take time off. But right. not so, not the case here. Right here. <laughs> With Eddie, what you see is what you get. Wow, it's cold. He's a hard worker and he wants to make money, but like to a fault. <laughs> Toilets. So he can't let a phone ring without answering it. Hi, it's Greg. So it just is, you know, mind-boggling to me sometimes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do you function like this? Oh, boom. So what do we have here? Well, we have a, guy, a lady who's not home. She was on vacation, and, uh, and a friend came by to look at the apartment, and the tub's full of water, the toilet's full of water, the sink's full of water, and she's not home. Let's so where did it all come from? Good morning. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take a look, see what you got. What am I going to do with this? Where's Dorothy? Dorothy, she's been sick. She's been down there for about a, for about a month and a half. Yo. Oh. Oh. Look what happened here. Yeah. All right, let's go down the cellar. There are people who prey on the elderly. I look at the elderly as old customers, friends of the family kind of a thing, and I try to treat them with respect and do the right thing. Uh, Cheers to that toilet paper and everything in that trap, right? And this drain is, drain is plugged all the way from here all the way up to the first floor, which means it's full of toilet paper and feces and all kinds of stuff. Uh, you're gonna have a ton of toilet paper and crap all over the floor here. What? You're gonna have a ton of toilet paper and crap all over the floor. No, no you're gonna. You're gonna when I pop that off. And this is gonna be a mess. This is not gonna be pleasant. <sighs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna try catching as much in the barrel. Quite honestly, we're not gonna catch that much. But this company, this is what your insurance company will pay for the damage. But we'll have to have a company come in here and, and, and disinfect the place. It's gonna have to be. This is gonna be fun, guys. Watch out. That's everything that's upstairs coming down now. Oh, I yeah. 
Now you know I don't want my son to be a plumber. I'll kill him. Eddie, you'll have to do all that for that. The insurance and everything. I don't know what to do. Well, yeah. I'll give you a name of... Eddie, no, you got to do it. I can't do it. Man, what's in there? I'm 90 years old, for Christ's sake. Come on. Uh, give me one. Eddie, give me a break. All right, we'll make, a, we'll make a phone call for you. Eddie, I'm 90, please. Thank you very much. All right, bye-bye. They're paging the company now, okay? Yeah, they'll come here, but they're going to call you in a little while. Well, we're all going to be there someday. One of the problems being in business for as long as we have is that my customers who were maybe 30, 40 years old, and you know, they grew up one or two kids, well, I'm doing work for their kids, but the, the parents now are 70, 80, 90 years old, and uh, you just can't walk away from them. You know, Johnny and I used to go clubbing. We used to sit at the bar, whatever, meet a couple young ladies. Johnny would always try taking the better look on one, and I didn't have a kid trying. He always dumped the chubby one on me. Yeah, it's better trick. Every time. Unless she looked hookerish, and then he tried to take her. Look at this. We're going back to the donut shop. I love this place. The donuts are so good, I tell them they should call it better than sex donuts. Big difference between married sex and single sex. As soon as they say I do, they don't know more. Give me half a dozen donuts. Excuse me? No, no, give me a dozen donuts. Excuse me? Give me a dozen donuts. Excuse me? May I have a dozen donuts, please? No, 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 try again. May I please have four lemon frosted donuts? Yeah, I know. I'll have one, maybe if I'm bad, too. But, you know, they're good. I'm sorry, they're good. I'm changing this when you come in so it'll say, tipping hey, is not a city okay, in China. Excuse me, why should I pay you to tip you to do your job? Because this I have to put job. up with you. This is your job. It doesn't matter. Your job is to get donuts and meet coffee. I come here every morning for my therapy. Do you tip me when I go to your house to do something? You say, oh, here, here's an extra five dollars. Cause, cause I don't have to. You take your tip out. No, I don't. Oh, look. No, I was just picturing him taking his tip out. That's all I was doing. Where are you going? I don't know. We'll just go right here. Better than married sex. Well, question. You know, the best medicine for stress is making love. Oh. Now, can I have that in writing? Oh, absolutely. You know, I've always said that. This is this is the best thing news I've had in years. I mean, when was the last time you guys did uh, oh. do? Uh, I don't know. I'll look at that I'll long ago. That long ago. Okay. That womb needs to see a little passion. I really? Because all I do is sleep there. That's not good. Don't touch that faucet. American plumber will be right back. Oh, please shut the water off. Can you see what I have to deal with? You could end up with permanent vision loss. This place is the, the house that I was born and brought up in. This place has all my childhood memories. It was a great time, no better place. And that was our Fenway Park. That was our Schaefer Stadium. We met back in 1963. Ed was a very outgoing kid. I mean, he was good athletically. He was a pest in most sports because of his size. This was the pitching round. Over here was home plate. When we were young, if you happened to hit the house in a fly, it was a home run. All of a sudden, I'd hear my father shouting, hey, Ed. I'm like, oh, no. Because I knew he got an emergency call on a Saturday afternoon, and he was going to drag me, and I had to leave the game. And, um, and I'd help him. Ed was a plumber from the day I knew him. What he wanted to do, I don't even know if he knows what he wanted to do as, as, as a youngster, because this was always there. I, th I think this is indicative of a lot of Italian people. They kind of raised their children with, I raised you, now you owe me. And I think his father was like that. You know, he told me 20 bucks. 20 bucks, when I was a kid, was a lot of money. Once you're making some money, you get a car, you get a girlfriend, kind of life's kind of good. So I feel, all right, well, I'll do this for a little while, I'll help out. 
two years turns out to be 32 years. <laughs> yeah. Today we're installing two gas-fired boilers. Uh, we're replacing two oil boilers that were 40, 50 years old. It's paramount we get this thing done today because uh, we're gonna have two angry tenants. They're gonna be cold, so we're staying here till this gets done. Mine will be going by tonight. Very, no, no, very early. Will be going by tonight. <laughs> Some people are a little slow. A little slow, but done right. With the amount of work involved here, a day was definitely out of the question. Whoa! Who didn't shut the water off? <laughs> shut the water, mate. All right. Can you see what I have to deal with? Can you see that? I thought he shut it off this morning. Why would he shut it off for? What did he have? What because did he we got to cut into it. We got to put new ball bells on. So he's going to shut the whole house off. Who's in the house? Nobody. How do you know that? Because I know. I seen him leave this morning when you weren't here. No, 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 and no. I was here at 7. I seen them all friggin' leave. There you go. Okay, what a schmuck. Oh, that made a big difference. There's no school older than Ed's school. What does old school mean? It means not taking an unnecessary shortcut. It's taking the time to make sure that each step of your job is something that you could walk away from saying, I'm proud of that. It's not 15 minutes, I should be done. Who needs help? Who needs help? Nice of you to come, buddy. Oh, thank hey, you. Thank, thank you, you thank you. Yeah, nice. You know, the crack of 2 o'clock. You know something? Such a life. I never realized, but they always say when you're on TV, you look like you're heavier. Look yeah. at Eddie. They shouldn't have been Oh, that's only when you're on TV. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, don't cough on me. What are we doing? Peter and Ken took Ed's class at the high school. Me and Kenny clowned around a lot, so. No. He kind of took towards us, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just blew the fuse. Eddie. Yeah. You shut the gas? No. I think we got a leak here. On my tombstone. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm only kidding. It'll be written down that my greatest accomplishment is the fact that Kenny and Peter got their master licenses. That's my greatest accomplishment in life. Yeah, I'll, split the, I'll put the T, then I'll put the two gas valves. The T's are already in, and the gas valve's there. Put the meter on. Are you all right? Are you running two home runs? No. Do you see that bewildered look on his face? <laughs> Put that on, please. Duh. Oh, he's hurting me today. He's going to be on the, on the ropes. Right. I'm a left and right. My knees are wobbly. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah, it's my pot. I'll leave him alone. Yep. Yeah. Whoa, it's crying time again. Don't do this at home. Here we go, here we go. I put it on and run. No. I hear it. You know? Is that backwards, that backflow, Professor? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's right. Oh, 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 get, the, get the tool. Hey, again, Eddie's ass backwards. <laughs> All right, now that didn't work out very well. Kenny came late. Peter had some problems. We had some problems. I don't know. All I know is come time Friday, they're looking for money. They'll pay for this. Woohoo! Yeah. Wow. Not me, oh, them. Can you get the <laughs> gas lines done right now? Huh? Gas lines. Don't All right? worry, Yeah, don't worry, my ass. Right. Goodbye. Hey, Grumpy. Yeah, hey, what? Grumpy. Yeah, just get it done. The guy God, just can't damn. slow down. <laughs> Eddie has only taken about roughly two weeks vacation in the last 26, 28 years. So I can never ask for time off. That's all that matters. Listen, I told you a couple weeks ago, Jeannie was planning on uh, getting a few days up in North Conway. Well, she got them in Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. This Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? How the can you do that? You can't take this time off. I, well, yeah, and I can't if I want to stay married, for one thing. What kind of a notice is that? At least, you know, Ed, a two-day notice you know, makes a big deal. It is two not days. like you I'm pay me for the time so what? off. It don't matter. Yes. Look right at my eye. How many fingers? Two. One. Two. One. Back in May, I went to the eye doctor because I was having trouble reading, and he noticed that I had a small cataract in my right eye. And don't worry about it. It won't happen for years. We'll watch it. Okay. Just look straight ahead at me. Can you see my face at all? No. Okay. Suddenly in July or August, I noticed my vision kept on getting worse and worse in one eye. And we went back in September, and the doctor says that the cataract blew out. 
Mr. Srigliano's eye is uh, something that's pretty unusual to see actually in the United States in the 21st century. It's a very, very advanced cataract. He was supposed to put the drops in faithfully three times a day and then go back, I don't know, in two or three weeks. And I wasn't faithful about putting the drops in. So he will need surgery. Because this is a, a more advanced cataract, it may take me longer than usual. What I'm going to do is, uh, once your eye's completely numb, I'll go inside the eye. I, I don't know if I want to know. And I don't I'll, know if I want to know. I'll, I'll, give, you the, I'll give you the... <laughs> They're going to have to um, do it the old-fashioned way. They're going to have to actually cut the eyeball and put 10 stitches in the eyeball. I hope to get it done on a Thursday. That way I'll be back to work Monday. After the surgery, you are going to have to take it easy with regards to work. this work. You can't do any bending. There can't be any pressure on the eye. There is a small chance that you could end up with permanent vision loss. I mean, we'll have to, like, tie him to the bed, handcuff him somewhere. Two days. I'll miss two days. And there's my beeper. See, is that your beeper, doctor, or my beeper? It's my beeper. That's you. See, us, us plumbers are busier than you guys, I guess. Busier you get paid more, huh? Oh, here we go. <laughs> It'll be interesting, having him home. <laughs> you have baseboard? Three, we have three, let's see, one, two, three, three or four thermostats. You have baseboard heat? We have everything. It's very hard to find a good plumber. So when's, when's your next opening? <laughs> hey, don't be a drip. America Plumber will be right back. Look at this, this is beautiful. They broke the pipe, they leave a hole open. I'm living without a kitchen. I'm gonna kill you. Well, here we go. We have a customer. This project here has been taking a year and a half to do. Uh, five bathrooms, laundry kitchen, radiant heat. He's not a very happy camper. John? Yeah? You home? You're home. Damn. How are you? Jesus. Hey, it's nice and warm in here. You made it, huh? Come on now. We're trying. We you never get to your phone. You sent me two clowns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are they doing? I got a lot of problems here. I got the cabinets coming on they Monday. They came the first three days. They came like gangbusters. And then I didn't see them for like months. All this stuff is just what is cracked and stuff? broke. What is this here? I have no idea. Look at this. This is beautiful. They broke the pipe. They leave a hole open. They haven't done anything. Because they come for an hour, Eddie. It's not right. I just can't live like this. All I right. hate to yell. Well, I'm I hate here. to scream I'm here. I'm here. here. You know, you, I got to live Wait, with my you know, wife upstairs every day. John. Are they going to get this thing out of here? Isn't Dude. that supposed to go in the shower? We're going to keep the paper towel stuffed into the wall for how long? How about the toilet downstairs? It splashes back up at you. Oh, yeah. She's a ball breaker in nature anyway. And there's no heat here. I know, Chief. You know what it's like living with a woman. <laughs> hey, the crack of 10. Hey. You guys have a license? Huh? You guys have a license? I can look at this stuff here, man. What are you guys doing? Come on. Come on. He was just I just got the heat two weeks ago, and Kenny just came two weeks ago. I was freezing. The problem we have here is, John, every time we start one area, you get so many friggin' areas of this house you want done. Yeah, but I gotta I'm... move things around for you, Kenny. You gotta help me. I help if you. you tell me one I'm working over here. You up. want the heat on over there. I, I can only you got do two one years. Thing. Well, today you I can't split up all the time. I wasn't here all the time. No, I know that. I know that. Every time we come down here, you got something else more important to do. Everything's gotta be priority. Over. Everything is a priority. What do you want done today, John? You'll no, get it done. I'd like to finish else? the radiant floor so half the house get, is just as warm as the other. I'd like to finish the gas for the kitchen. See, there you go. You want more. Then we'll do the radiant floor. Well, how long did you, you said it would before. It was only going to take you a half hour. Well, it's only a half hour. This is 10 minutes. No, no, this no, is four minutes. Half hour for that one room. Yeah. He wants the other section all done. He get, The electrician wasn't even done with the stuff. And how, it yeah. doesn't matter. Let's go what, look at the boiler right now. Look at the spaghetti. It wasn't done. The electrician didn't show up. It's not about the electrician. It's about the plumber. The plumber finished they just fell behind because I know them and I got the <laughs> end of the deal. Guys, guys, come on. What the? <laughs> no, He's no, unbelievable. It's no. been a year and a half. But still, I'm telling you, you leave a vent like, drain Eddie, like that, Eddie, open Eddie, like that? Are you crazy? Eddie, we're not getting overtime for this either. Every time we stay late, we, you know, you want certain things done. We're not getting any overtime. So oh, this job's like a disaster. I gotta tell you, this thing is taking forever. We'll, we'll take care of what we said we're gonna do today, all right? Well, yeah, all right. That's it, it, all right? I'm just, just get it done. Just get it done. Don't worry. This is what happens.
my goal here is just to make the customer feel like they we're going to get on it, that we're to blame, and, uh, and uh, please give me my check. <laughs> Hello? Yes. He's like, he's never stopped being This is why he never gets jobs done. No see this? That's what it's going to tell you. Can I so, call you and let you know how the day's going? Sure. I'm, I'm not leaving here until I see you actually start something. I don't have a pen. I'm on a job right now. There's nothing getting done. <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm in trouble. <laughs> there it is. Gina, I'm going to get it done today. Don't go down. you and him, Gina. I'm, I'm going to kill you. Tell him what you said to me, because you tell me every night when I get home at night. You know how hard it is to cook on a hot plate for three kids every day? And I look at my appliances in the kitchen? I mean, sitting in boxes? Yeah, five bathrooms in this house, Gina. I can't do it anymore. Your wife would kill you if you had no kids. Gina, we're doing, we're just. No, you're not doing the best you can, because if you're doing the best you can, it'd be done. That's I don't, don't want to sit here and, and argue back and forth all day. Just... No, yeah, make sure you go get some coffee, too, Peter. I you a donut, too. Hi, I'm out of town. I'll call you when I get back. Hey, yeah, I hope you're having a nice time. I'm here busting my ass. And you're sitting around in a chair somewhere uh, drinking beers. Thanks a lot, pal. When you breathe out, I would like for you to make a sound. Oh. 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 And when you make a sound and you breathe it all out and you let it out, all that stuff. Oh, perfect ignore timing. It, ignore it. Ignore, ignore it. it. You're still in the moment. Ask yourself, do I really have to answer this? See, we all have choices. Hey. Hi, it's me. Like that. That don't mean for me. Oh, gee, thanks you, Sunday. Gee, you are, you are terrific. What an opportunity. <sighs> Listen. What? 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 Getting back to your surgery two weeks from today. What do you have scheduled the day after? Do you have you scheduled anything at this point? Ed's surgery. And then Ed back. I don't think so. Yep. Why didn't you tell Johnny he couldn't take the time off? Or you really needed him. You were busy, but no, did you speak he had, up? He had to pick no, up. He had to pick up. He had to choose between me and his wife. That's essentially what it became. I guess he wants to get more sex than I do. You need to change. All you do is work. It's work, work. And when work. I'm not working, you tell him I have things to do around the house. You, oh, Which yeah, you don't you gotta... do. When you talk about change, <laughs> do you know what Ursula told me? No. The one of the things that helped me relax and take is more sex. Oh, here we go. Yeah. She asked really? me when was the last time, and I told her what year. Really? You it know? always boils down to sex, doesn't That's it, with right. you men? I've given you got a fur coat, I didn't get any more. You got diamond earrings, I didn't get any more. You got di a bigger diamond, you didn't, I didn't get any more. What's it going to take? A vacation. It's not going to happen. It's well, not going to happen. Well, then, no sex. Give me this or give me that, and you'll get more. And I can tell you from experience, you'll never get it. That's the way it is. When we come back... The sink is fourteen hundred thirty-two bucks. You crook! I'll charge it to the customer. Nice. Don't touch that faucet. I don't know. Maybe it's time to get out of this stinking racket. My old buddy Dom got out. Dom used to be a plumber. Then he opened this place. Now he just sells fancy toilets to schmucks like me. You look marvelous. Oh, all right, I gotta go. Eddie's walking in. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Oh, What's up? Nathan. No work? I'm, I'm here for work. Uh, listen, I have a customer that's uh, being a pain in the ass. I don't have time for this. Excuse stuff. me? Yeah, this I is got, your business. This I is your life. No, dude, go see Paul. Hey, listen, Splash is down the street. I'll go to Splash. Yeah, I guess we could show you some. I uh, want to see Cola. Right, what about you... even looking at the memoirs? Oh, the memoirs. Oh, show her this one here, because she may like it. Everybody loves this? this one. It's absolute, made by Porsche. Porsche. Now, that's what, uh, Cola? 
Is that a Coca-Cola company? No, it's Porsche. I gave, I didn't give, I sold my kids to the business uh, for a good amount of money. <clears throat> Wait, look, these, look at are these plumber's hands. I looked at those plumber's hands. He's look a clean that. freak. Wait, do it. He has a um, vacuum for his driveway. I wash, he washes and vacuums his driveway. The sink is fourteen hundred thirty-two oh, bucks. You crook! Okay, wait a second. Right. The what faucet is, is three fifty. Three fifty. And if you want the toilet, it's like five hundred. Five hundred. You can sell the whole package for two grand. Two thousand dollars. That's cheap. I do all the work. Yeah. And you get all the money. Duh. What else is new? Why do you stay out there and insist on working? What's the matter with you? Uh -huh. Let the guys do the work. Let them make you the money, and you just make sure it's that. It's not everything. about money. Of course, it's no, about it's money. It's about being happy. I like. I I'm enjoy what I do. I'm very happy. Come here, you got to. You got to check this out. You got to get one oh, of these. You didn't buy one of these. What are you going to do with this thing? It's new. Drive over mountains. I don't know. Drive over mountains. You don't want to drive over the curb. How much? 50, 60? About 60. 60. Eddie, look at the style. Look at the grill. Look at it. Ed, charge it to you the customer. I, I, charge it to the customer. Yeah. Maybe Dom's right. Maybe I should have gone for the money. Eh, who am I kidding? I have no regrets. You'll never see my radio on an, on an oldie station. Because you know something? That was then. This is now. Let it go. And, I, and that's my philosophy. Let it go. God knows what I'll need. Yeah. Right shot in. This is not my job. This is Johnny's job. After he leaves me for three days to go to North Conway with his wife to go shopping and leaving me to hold the bag during a very, very, very stressful and busy time. Hi. How are you, Mr. Shimemi? I love you. Have a Merry Thank Christmas. You. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Uh, underneath this cover, we have a grease trap, and we haven't cleaned it since March. Here we go, balls. Here we go. This is grease that has solidified. The idea is that this stuff won't go down into the sewer and plug up uh, the drains. Lunch, anybody? That's enough. Oh, boy. What do I want? Ooh, chocolate chip. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Delicious. See you later. Bye. Kill me. Look at this. I still have a boil to get rid of. Don't go away. American Plumber will be right back. It's not my problem, man. I'm put an air bubble in your eye here, Ed, OK? How was everything? Did you have a good time? I had a great time, thank you. I just wish it was longer. I would have been dead and buried. Can I have tomorrow off? <laughs> yeah, all right. You don't have a prayer, pal. Come on, let's go kick some ass. Ah, oh, come on. Let's see what they don't have today. Waste, Waste King, King 9920. Yeah. Do you have any? I ordered you one. One. Yeah, we got one for you. You got one. Stock. How many are in stock? One for you. What's the thought process you there? It. Why would you order one and not have another? So now if I take this one, guy walks in the door, do you have a 9920? No, no, oh, no, we have 12, Eddie. though, in Man Manchester, New Hampshire. Eddie, you want no problem. The only person that's going to come in here and order a 9920 is you. All right, I'll take the 9920. Okay. Huh? Wow. All right, we're out of here. See you later, guys. Bye, guys. Good right. week, gentlemen. Come on, boy. Let's go, boy. I think I have the keys in my pocket, so you guys got anything to drink here?
We have uh, water coming through a ceiling on the second floor from the third floor bathroom. It's all over the place, ruining the ceiling, ruining the walls, and it's been a long time, so hopefully you'll find right. it at... Hello! Hello, plumber! Now, he had a tenant who's not paying the rent because, the, you know, that tenant's getting pissed off that he has stained ceiling and those, they've actually had some drops coming down. This is the first unit, and this is where the leak is. You actually get to see what latex paint does with a uh, water backing. Waffles. <laughs> All right, now, their bathroom, in relation to where we are... It's directly above us. Really? Yep. We went upstairs to see if there was any telltale signs of where a leak would definitely be coming from. Now, how many people are in here? It's uh, four, or f four or five. Students? Um, professional, young professionals. Young professionals. The problem in this bathroom was way obvious. I mean, oh, see, look at this. Good, good boy. And I said, you know, I really feel strongly it's the tile. But he didn't want to listen. OC's feeling, let's, let's take the ceiling down. Let's see, you know, what, what's causing the problem. So I only tell people what I think. And that, but if they're adamant that this is, I'm wrong or whatever, well, you know something? That's their decision. Let them pay the consequences. All right, this is gonna fall down. Uh, one of the tenants. He's a uh, young professional male. Single, certainly. But this isn't bad. Come on, I remember what mine was like. If I could see the floor, it'd be great. We ran some different tests. First of all, eliminating one thing at a time by flushing the toilet a few times to see if, with the open ceiling, we could see any water. No go. I moved to the sink, filled it up, let it down, filled it up, let it down. No go again. See anything? Well, no, I'm going to have to tear down more of this ceiling to see the... You're going to have to speak up, too. Hi. Hi. Oh, All right, Johnny. Yeah? Put down uh, three or four inches of water in the tub. OK. That has enough head pressure, so that's going to pop any little leak that's here. More so than a shower was going to. More than a shower, OK. All right, let that go down, Johnny, just by itself. That's dry there. All right. Johnny? You. Put the shower head towards that wall, right? Also, throw some water in the front. Yup. Huh? Eddie, I see something on your left hand right oh, there. right there. All right. Johnny! What? Do it again on the front left. And in running water down where the openings were, we did end up with water downstairs. There you go, right here. He's gonna have to tear this down. This is probably a thousand dollar job for him. So what do you do with the big hole in the ceiling? Admire it. John, the good news is that we found your leak. The bad news is I gotta give you a bill, buddy. You know, Jesse James had a gun, oh, but it's on, good to see Come on, come on, It's good, you know. Come on, yeah, you, you had no, four other plumbers. You had four it. other plumbers. Nobody found it. I did right. it. Did and I mess up your problem? If you doubled this, it'd be still worth it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, 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 Left with a big hole in the ceiling. Uh, but he was happy, wasn't he? In the story. One of the goals I hope in therapy for you is to say no. Say no? Mm-hmm. Mm. You are obsessive about your work. You think about it constantly. You then become compulsive because you feel you have to get it done. You know, I gotta tell you something. I just heard the bell ring. That meant it was one o'clock, right? Yeah. I was supposed to be in Melrose to put a sink in. OK. See, there you go. Again, yesterday's history. Tomorrow's a mystery. Today's a gift. And that's why we call it the present. 
and you're only here today. Hmm. You don't know if you're here tomorrow. Life, plumbing, <laughs> it's all the same. Everything breaks down eventually. Who am I to complain? That's what keeps me in business. Is he prepped, Kathy? Yes. I just hope this guy knows what he's doing. I put an air bubble in your eye here, Ed, OK? This will help me see the cataract better. Next time on American Plumber. You all right? Oh, my God. He's not doing anything. He's just sitting there making noises. I think there's a conspiracy here to break my freaking. Don't get mad. You're gorgeous. Oh, hold on. Yeah, he's gone. Let's get the get frick out of here. Let's get out of here. Can stay here all night? Yeah, he gets hey. to go, right? Hey. Shortcut there, we'll get some money, we'll get back, we'll go to the club.